Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Personal Finance for Us, where we talk about financial issues as they relate to the black and brown community. Today's video is going to be all about net worth. What is it? Why should you care? is your assets minus your liabilities or in other words the sum of the value of the things you owe minus your debts or people you owe when we're talking about assets in relation to figuring out net worth what we're really talking about is assets that have a substantial monetary amount attached to them things like plain old cash cars and vehicles homes that you own for rentals and the big one is if you have a business. The whole reason why Jeff Bezos is a billionaire is not necessarily because he's sitting on a billion dollars in the bank. It's because his business is valued at well over a billion dollars. In fact, it's pretty hard to reach that billionaire's club without having a very lucrative business. So when you hear people talk about millionaires and billionaires, it's not how much money they've made in a year, it's not how much money they have, it's how much all of their assets are worth subtracted from the money that they owe. So why is calculating net worth important? Well, your net worth is a bit of a barometer. It's a measure of how you're going as you progress through your financial life. A snapshot of your net worth may not be particularly important at a given time, but what you really want to do is kind of track it over the long term. This will give you a clue on just kind of how well or not well you're handling money. For example, if you are constantly picking up more debts and you're not picking up more assets, very likely your net worth is getting smaller and not bigger. This is important because we really want to be accumulating assets over time, especially assets that can make us more money. This is how you become wealthy. If you don't want to be wealthy, do the opposite. Keep accumulating liabilities. This is why so many self-made millionaires say the key thing is getting out of consumer debt because they understand that if you constantly owe people money, you'll never be able to siphon your money into assets. If you've ever gone through the home buying process with the bank, you'll notice that one of the things that they do calculate and show you is actually your net worth. The bank is very interested in knowing your net worth. This is a big purchase for most people. A home is the single biggest purchase that they'll ever make. And they want to make sure that you're handling your money fairly well because, well, they want to make their money back. All right, let's look at a quick example of how to calculate net worth. Okay, so we have our equation at the top. Assets minus liabilities gives us our net worth. We have two boxes. The box on the left is the value of our assets, and the box on the right is the value of our liabilities. So we have a home valued at $150,000, a car valued at $10,000, cash money at $8,000, and about $10,000 in investments. We add all these things up and we see we have a total of $178,000. On the right, our liabilities, the things we owe, there is a $110,000 mortgage on that home, an $8,000 car loan on the car, a student loan debt of $15,000, and some credit card debt at $5,000. We add all this up, we see we have $138,000 in liabilities. This means we take the $178,000, subtract it from $138,000, and that gives us a net worth of $40,000. So if this person were, for whatever reason, had to liquidate some assets quickly, after getting rid of everything, they would still have about $40,000 to their name. Now, as I stated earlier, net worth is definitely something that I've been paying attention to, and probably once or twice a year, I'll check my own net worth. As it stands, at October of 2020, here's my net worth. Okay, so here is a real-world example of net worth. 
my net worth. Um, my home is valued at about $215,000, give or take. Uh, I have a vehicle worth about $15,000. My husband and I have about $124,000 in retirement accounts. And just an investment account outside of regular retirement accounts, we have about $5,900. We've got about $21,000, almost $22,000 cash in the bank for a total value of $381,720 in assets. Liabilities, our only liability is our mortgage. We've paid off all of our consumer debt. Happy to say the car is paid off, so we have very few uh, liabilities, which is great. This means that we can accumulate assets, accumulate cash much faster. So we take the $381,720 and subtract that from what's left in our mortgage at $134,645. And that gives my husband and I a net worth of $247,075. So there you go. Those are my real numbers, real world example of how to calculate net worth. All right, everyone, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope it helps you to understand the importance of paying attention to your net worth. I know some YouTubers out there will do one every month. To me, that's like a bit excessive. It's kind of a lot of math to do that frequently. As chances are, unless you are making huge sums of money, your net worth is probably only changing by a couple of grand every month or unless you're in the process of making some major, major asset purchases, maybe you're buying a couple of rental properties, obviously in the short term like that, because you're consuming cash to buy the assets and the assets are gonna grow over time, in the short term, yeah, your net worth might go down some, but over time, over 20, the next 20, 30 years, chances are your net worth is actually going to increase by purchasing these assets. But anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. This has been Personal Finance for us. We're out. Peace.